Hello everyone, welcome to Nano Shorts Productions. Today I'm going to be talking about the series finale of Lost. So uh, grab your popcorn, grab your friends, grab your TV guide. No, that really won't uh, help at all. But before I begin, I just want to say that I am a big fan of Lost. I have been watching it since day one. Um, and my opinion, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, I just want to I kind of want to settle a lot of the confusion going on with the show. I think I have a pretty good uh, understanding and take on, on the ending. And uh, But, you know, if, if you agree, if you disagree, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below. All right, so without further ado, Lost! Okay, first off, right off the bat, I just want to say what an awesome series finale. This thing was just jam-packed with epicness, uh, you know, joy and sadness and just complete awesomeness. Um, these writers definitely know how to make two and a half hours of TV the best two and a half hours of TV anyone could ever watch. I mean, let's face it, you know a show is good uh, when the commercials uh, seem like they're taking forever. I gotta say, those Target commercials got a little lame. But anyway, I digress. Ironically, I think the best way to dissect this ending is to begin with the end itself. Um, a lot of people are, are confused about this whole death thing. Uh, uh, are they dead? How long have they been dead? When did they die? Uh, why are they all jam-packed together in a church? And what's with this uh, giant beam of light? Well, here's my take on the whole thing. In season six of Lost, the writers added this new element to the TV show called Flash Sideways. Uh, just like in the previous seasons that had flashbacks and flash forwards, this one we weren't, this was a little ambiguous. Uh, we didn't really know when it was taking place. Um, all we knew is that it, it seemed to be a reality that was taking place as if the crash never happened, and it sort of, seem, it sort of seemed to parallel uh, the time frame of the characters on the island. So, what's this Flash Sideways business all about? I like to think of the Flash Sideways as an alternate universe, a purgatory, if you will. Uh, a place where uh, these characters, who died, basically all come together and cope with their death, and rekindle the relationships with the people that mattered most in their lives. So in a sense, The Flash Sideways was an epilogue of all the characters uh, coping with their deaths uh, so they could eventually move on in the end. Uh, but it was, it was mixed in. It was mixed in with uh, the present time on the island, which, which made it a little confusing. So now that we got this whole Flash Sideways business out of the way, um, it brings up the question, um, when did these characters actually die? This, frankly, is all left to interpretation. A lot of people think that they died immediately when the plane hit the island uh, during the pilot, um, and that the island was the island itself all was like a purgatory and and a test. Um, some people think that they died as soon as the hydrogen bomb blew up. Uh, I personally think that all of this is false, that everything that happened on the island since the plane crash um, all took place. It all actually happened. The plane crashed, people survived, there were polar bears, there was a smoke monster, and there was all this time traveling crazy shit going on. But then you have the people who are like, oh, but, but that could never happen in real life. People, this is a TV show, all right? You gotta suspend your disbelief. This island is an actual place where crazy shit happens, plain and simple. So jumping back to the question, when did these characters actually die? Um, remember at the end of the show, uh, Jack, um, right after he pull, and right after you put the plug back in, he's laying on the ground. He, he his, his eyes are fluttering. He's looking up in the sky, and he sees the plane fly uh, right above him, which hold Lapidus, Miles, um, uh, Richard, Claire, um, Kate, and Sawyer, um, all flying home to safety. At this exact moment, right when Jack closes his eyes, as soon as the show ends, boom, Jack's dead. Jack has just died. And in his world, in his mind, he then is taken to this purgatory uh, where he completely lives this life of the plane um, never crashing. Everybody else uh, on the plane or on the island um, they, they, they assumably make it back home, okay, and live out their lives. And uh, whoever's left on the island either stays on the island and dies or uh, goes back home as well. Um, this, this is, again, this is all left open for a very important reason. Um, that is not, that this is not what matters. What matters most is that everyone eventually dies. And, and when they do, they all regroup together and, um, and cope with their deaths in this purgatory, in this flash sideways business. I mean, let's face it, uh, if you died, wouldn't you want to get together with the people that mattered most in your lives? I think so. 
Now, there's a lot of controversy to this whole uh, spiritual religious ending and theme to the show. Uh, for those people who have trouble uh, with this whole thing, I say relax, okay? Because it's actually played very safe. Um, for those of you who are religious, uh, people could totally see this as being a, a religious a themed show. But those, are who, those of you who aren't, I mean, let's face it, they never mention God in the end. They never show a picture of Jesus in the church. Um, the church is basically, it's, it's a symbol as just being a spiritual and sacred place before they, they move on um, to, to wherever, wherever they're going. It could be heaven, it could be another afterlife. It, it, it doesn't matter, it's open to interpretation. And that's the beauty of this ending. Uh, these writers made it very, very safe. And uh, I commend them on that. To summarize the show Lost as a whole, uh, I basically see the island itself uh, being an allegory to the test of life. You have basically these, these complex, complex characters who are summoned to the island who are all flawed in some way. And uh, while they're on the island, um, this just happens to be uh, their most dramatic and important times in their lives where they, they all seem to work out uh, their conflicts and uh, you know meet people and um, influence and impact other people's lives as well. Just like in life, we all have a purpose and we all have to, f to figure out what our purpose is. The island was the key to all of these characters in, in figuring out their purpose. And once they, once they figured this out, those of them that died were able to move on to a better place. This show just completely went beyond all of my expectations. Uh, it's amazing in what it did uh, as a TV series. I feel like it, it broke a lot of boundaries that many TV series haven't done before. Um, the biggest thing I think that it did is, is what exactly I'm doing right now. Um, it sparked so much conversation. And uh, if you think about all of the websites and all of the books dedicated to the theories, um, to the, sh to the theories involved in this show, it, it's just, it, it's incredible. I, if you, any other show, um, I can't think of any other show that has actually done that. This show has such a complex and diverse set of characters that everyone who watches this show is able to connect and relate to all, if not one of the characters. I could go on to talk about the details of the show, but that's not really the point of this video. Um, the, the point is to um, clear up the ending for those who, who don't seem to really get it. Um, and, and basically, again, to just bring up debate and to spark conversation. So anybody, please, uh, if you agree or disagree, please type a little comment below. And um, hey, this has been an amazing six years. Lost, thank you, thank you, thank you. For the sake of entertainment, uh, please check out the rest of my short films uh, on my channel. And once again, my name is Tyler Schnabel. Thanks for listening, YouTube.